Now let's look at an example involving velocity and computing displacement versus distance traveled. So here we want to consider an object moving along a line with the velocity function v of t equals 3t squared minus 6t on the interval from 0 to 3, where t is measured in seconds, um, and our velocity have units of meters per second. So first we're asked to determine when the motion's in the positive direction and when it's in the negative direction. So remember that we have um, motion in the positive direction when our velocity is positive and in the negative direction when v of t is negative. So we need to start by finding when v of t is zero and then using that to determine when our velocity is positive and when it's negative. So we have 3t squared minus 6t is equal to zero. So we can factor this into 3t times t minus 2. So we see that our velocity is going to be um, 0 at 0 and 2. So using this information, we can create a sign chart. So I have my interval from 0 to 3. I know that v of t um, was 0 at 0 and at 2. And then I just want to test for the sign of the velocity in these different intervals. So I notice if I plug in something between 0 and 2 like 1, um, I'll have this 1 minus 2 will be negative, um, this 3t here will be positive, so my velocity would be negative. We plug in something between 2 and 3, we see that our velocity will be positive. So we can see that our v of t is going to be less than 0 for t between 0 and 2, not including 0 and 2, that's where it's actually um, equal to 0. And then our velocity will be positive for t um, between 0 and 3. Okay, so that answers the first part of the question and will be relevant to these questions about displacement versus dis uh, distance traveled. Um, it may help us to think about what the picture of the velocity curve looks like. We do have a parabola here um, that looks something like this here, where, let's see, we already found that our velocity was equal to 0 and 2, so we're crossing the x-axis here at 2, and we're going up to 3. Okay, and we know that displacement and distance traveled over the interval have to do with the um, with integrating our, our region. So notice that I have this little area below the um, t-axis here and this area above. So how are we going to um, compute this displacement versus this distance traveled question? Well, remember that the displacement is our net change, our net area or signed area, if you prefer that terminology. So our displacement here is exactly that integral from 0 to 3 of v of t dt. We want to take into account that sign information and get that difference in our ending position um, and our initial position. So I'm going to integrate from 0 to 3 of 3t squared minus 6t. So this will be 3t cubed over 3, so I'll have t cubed minus 6t squared over 2, so it'll be 3t squared. And this is evaluated from 0 to 3. So notice that I'm going to have here um, 27 minus 27 minus 0 minus 0. So I end up with a total displacement here of 0 meters. So that means that this region must be um, the same, let's see if I highlight this one in red to indicate that that's um, would be have a negative sign, highlight this part in blue, those are ending up canceling each other um, out. So this is like the situation where somebody started at um, one location, our object started at a certain location, um, it moved in one direction and then moved back in the other direction. So it ended up exactly where it started from. So let's look at the distance traveled question now. So we know that distance traveled um, doesn't care about the direction. Um, so we want to be looking here at the integral of the absolute value of our velocity. And it's here that we need to make use of the sign chart. Okay? Remember that the absolute value of a function is defined to be what's inside that at those absolute value bars when what's inside those absolute value bars is positive and the negative of it when that value is negative since if that value is negative we would then multiply it by a negative to make it positive okay so we need to break this up at the point where our um, sign of our velocity changes so we'll have an integral from 0 to 2 
of negative v of t, so the absolute value of v of t would be negative v of t in the interval from 0 to 2, since that's where the velocity is negative, plus an integral from 2 to 3 of v of t dt. Okay, so we already found what our antiderivative is here. Uh, I just have a sign change. So I'm going to have um, 3t squared minus t cubed for this first piece, evaluated from 0 to 2, plus t cubed minus 3t squared, evaluated from 2 to 3. Okay, so doing our little bit of arithmetic here, this is going to be 12 minus 8 minus 0, plus, let's see, this will be 27 minus 27 again, minus 8 minus 12. Okay, so we end up with 4 plus, let's see, this is going to be a minus a negative 4, so 4 plus 4. So we get a total distance traveled of 8 meters. Okay, so we can see from, from what we just did here, it turns out that this, this blue region here had um, an area of 4 meters. This red piece also had an area of 4 meters. So when we add those together, we get that total distance of 8. Um, and when we have to do the area um, above minus the area below, we, we got that displacement of 0 meters.